Slip Edit. In a project, move a clip's in and out points without adjusting the duration or position of that clip using a slip edit. With the trim tool active, click and drag a clip to perform a slip edit. To help understand what is happening, return to the browser and locate a clip. This 16 second clip starts with an empty glass, which is then filled with water. Click and drag the clip into a project to add the entire clip. Notice that I did not select a portion of the clip or set in or out points. With the entire clip added to the project, there are no media handles before or after the clip. If I enable the trim tool and attempt to slip the clip left or right, the edges turn red to indicate a clip's beginning or end has been reached. Slip edits cannot be performed beyond the boundaries of a clip. I'll keep the entire clip on the screen as a reference. Returning to the browser, let's select a portion of the clip where the water is being poured into the glass. To select the range, press I to set an in point, move the skimmer, and press O to set an out point. I mentioned media handles. The area before the in point and after the out point are media handles. Click and drag the clip to add it to the project. Playing back the project, we can see after the first clip, we cut directly to the water pouring in the glass. The duration of the clip is great, but I would rather it start when the water hits the bottom of the glass. You could return to the browser, set a new endpoint, and then use the replace from start option to update the current clip with the new selection, but a slip edit is much faster. Press T to activate the trim tool. Click and drag the clip to slip it. The yellow edges let us know there is still a media handle and we can continue to slip in that direction. However, once we reach the end, the red indicates there is no more media handle. This single slip edit is adjusting the in and out points and the viewer reflects the new in frame on the left and out frame on the right. I want the water to be hitting the bottom of the glass at the start of this clip. Watch the frame on the left as the clip is slipped. Once the water hits the bottom, let go to complete the slip edit. Slip edits can be used for fine tuning. Use the comma and period keys to slip a selected clip by one frame to the left or right. Shift comma and shift period slip by 10 frames at a time. To slip a clip by a specific number of frames, press the minus or equals key, enter the number of frames, and press return. One last note, a slip edit moves a clip's frames. So connected clips, which are attached to specific frames, will move as well. Hold the tilde key to temporarily disable clip connections to slip a clip without moving the connected clips. To summarize, press T to activate the trim tool and drag clips to perform slip edits. Slip edits adjust the in and out point of a clip without changing the position or duration of the clip. Hold tilde to temporarily turn off clip connections to avoid connected clips being moved during a slip edit. Want to learn more? Visit anawesomeguide.com and give this video a like if it helped you.